Welcome to this product demonstration termination video of terminating a Category 6 Keystone Jack. When you first get your connector, it will be individually packaged in a bag with a complete bill of materials. One side of the bag is perforated, you can rip it off and dump out the product. With this particular uh, unshielded Cat 6 Jack, it will be very simple. You have a connector body, a strain relief, and a dust cap. So easy way to terminate this is to go ahead and strip your cable. The instructions say strip 1.2 inches, but I'm going to strip 2 inches off just because I do like to work with a little extra. On the minimum spin on the cigar cutter stripper, I'm going to do about one quick spin, separate my cable. I have a rip cord here, I want to go ahead and remove that. I'm going to separate my pairs away from the center spline. Getting rid of the center spline, I'm going to go ahead and cut each of these what I call flutes after machining. I'm going to cut each one at a 45 degree angle with the flush side of the cutters. This spins right off. Now on your category 6 jack, pretty easy way to do these is one is you don't have to untwist all the pairs. Uh, two conductors are always constant. Your blue and your brown on here are always constant, so they never change positions. The orange and green do change positions depending on whether you're using 568A or 568B. I will be using 568B. You want to go ahead and lay your pairs out. So my blue is on one side, and I'm going to have to switch my green and orange here, just kind of get them positioned in the right location for the connectors. You want to go ahead and untwist these just a little bit to actually get them uh, into place. You don't want to untwist the whole pairs and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just twi untwist it a little bit. And I can lay this into the slots now with just that little bit of untwist. So I'm leaving the rest of the pairs still twisted. Do the same for the other side, the blue. And just give it a good pull down and that locks it in place. Now since I'm doing a 568 uh, Basically, 568B, I want to make sure my color codes are in the right location, so on this side I need green. And on this side I'll do orange. So once you have all your pairs lined up in place and pulled down in the slots and stuff, now you can go ahead and terminate this. I have a tool. This tool is uh, very simple, does cut and crimp in one slot. One thing you do want to do with this tool is when you uh, fold this bar back, you want to make sure you latch it in place. If you don't do that, it might interfere with your uh, crimping process. So I'll go ahead and fold this and latch it in place in this little locking mechanism here. So now that's locked out of the way where I can go ahead and close the tool and it won't get in the way. The tool in the front here, you'll see some grooves here. On the keystone jack, there's two latches to hold it in place on a faceplate. You want to make sure those are lined up in there. So I will take those and line them up in those slots. Seat it fully, and once it's all seated fully in there and the blades are coming down smoothly, when I go ahead and crimp, it crimps all my conductors off, and then I can just pull this right out. Last step on this is I want to go ahead and fold my wire back so it's coming out at 180 degrees. I'll take my strain relief and on the side that I folded, slide that on there and just basically give it a nice firm push and it'll lock in place. And this is completed.